Hello. Okay. You hear me? Hello. Good evening, Enrique. Good evening, Delia. Good evening, Amilcar, Lenny. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I hope you're doing great. So, how's it going? Well, I'm so tired. You're tired. Wow. <laughs> yeah. What have you been doing? Um, I'm working on the church. I've been. I've, I've been, been working on the church. A church, a church, really? Okay. Uh, because on the church, it means that you're building the church. Are you building? Okay. No, in the church. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, that's good. Very good. So, Richard, what have you been up to? What have you been up to? Hey, okay, no. Enrique, what have you been up to? Um, I'm sorry, teacher. I don't understand. Okay, good. So let's practice something, guys. In uh -huh. English, okay? This is very important. Uh, natural. Having a natural conversation is very important for you at this point. So I asked, I asked you another, another common American phrase, okay? What have you been up to? What have you been up to? Okay, what have you been up to? What have you been up to? You can also contract this like this. What have you been up to? What have you been up to? Okay. Which is another way of asking. This is informal, okay? It's like saying, what's up? Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> okay. But here, what have you been up to? Is like, I, I, haven't, I haven't seen you for a year, for one year. I haven't seen Enrique. And I go like, hey, um, how's it going? Right? How's it going, Enrique? And he goes like, oh, I'm good. I'm okay. I'm great. Okay? And then I want, mm -hmm. want to know more information about Enrique. Hey, what have you been up to? Or mm -hmm. okay. before this, I can say, hey, long time no see. Long time no see. Right? Mm -hmm. Which means I haven't seen you for a long time. So I go like, hey, what have you been up to? And then Enrique, Enrique told me, um, oh, I got married. You know? Okay. Mm -hmm. Or the opposite, right? I got divorced. No. Okay. <laughs> it's just, it's just. You look happy, right? So I got the word. Woo! <laughs> okay. Come on, Enrique. Okay. Be careful with your wife if she's close. Okay. Okay. So. No wife. Okay. It's only me in the room. Okay. Good to know. <laughs> like this. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. Just. Give me the news, right? Give me the news. <laughs> what have you been up to? So, Delia. Delia, long time no see. <laughs> I'm, I am bored in my house. <laughs> okay, let's go. With, I've been working. I've been working. Okay, from home? Yes. Okay, I've been working from home. Okay, good, very good. Thank you. Um, let me see, Amilcar. Hi, Amilcar. Hi. Amilcar, what have you been up to? Uh, I've been visiting my my cousin today. Visiting, right? Visiting, yes. visiting. Okay. Oh, really? Is he sick? No, I have lunch with her. Hey, come on. No visiting, okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Be careful. Hi, Neda. 
Hi. Good evening. What have you been up to? I have been to work. I have been to work. Excellent. I have been to work at home or outside. Okay. No, I don't know. You tell me. Oh, uh, you... yes. I work in the bank. In the bank, at the bank. Yes. Okay. Good. Okay. Do you have some money for me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so much yeah. money. Oh, yeah, but not yours, right? <laughs> so sad. <laughs> okay, Veronica, good evening. I been I have been done work work house. I've been oh okay you call that home chores. Okay. Yes. Home chores. So I've been doing home chores. I've been doing home chores. Okay. Home chores. Me too. <laughs> Actually, my wife, my wife is working during the day and I've been taking care of my kids, washing the dishes, washing the clothes, cleaning the house, you know. All. Me too, teach. And I, ha and I have three, uh, three little demons, you know, three little demons. Yeah. Really bad. I mean, <laughs> and their virtual class, their, their classes are online during the morning. So ah, that's a lot of work. And their homework, you know, you have to be cutting paper. Ah. So I feel you. Hey, Veronica, I feel you. Okay. <laughs> I comprendo, right? I understand you. I got yeah. you. I got you. That's another way. I got you. Okay. I got you. Okay. I... Don't worry. I know how it feels. Pedro Ramirez. Hi, teacher. Hi. What have you been up to, Pedro? Um, well, I work in, on a uh, bathroom design today. Oh. Okay. So you spend the whole day in the bathroom? No, design a bathroom. Uh, okay, I'm just like... Is that, okay, okay, yeah. Because that is strange. <laughs> <laughs> this is strange. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I do you have designed... I said, I've designed, I design. I've designed a bathroom design. or a restroom. Mm -hmm. Restroom, yeah, restroom. A restroom, okay. Yeah. Restroom. Re Over the, yeah. Restroom, no shower, right? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Got it. Okay, you got it, guys. Very good. Excellent. Very good. Kelvin, how's it going? I have uh, been, been working in a government company. The name is CNR. Wait, CNN? CNR. CNR. No. Oh, no. CNR. Okay, R L. Yes. Oh. Yes. Centro Nacional de Registros. Oh, wait. CNR. CNR. CNR, okay. CNR. Nombres propios, no los traduzco al inglés. And it's okay, your spelling. It's okay. ¿Qué hago cuando alguien no me comprende un, es, un deletreo en inglés por el teléfono? Okay, ocupo alfabeto fonérico, nato, tiro alphabet, and you could say Charlie, Echo, uh, what? Romeo. For example, right? Charlie Echo Romeo. Okay? Or you say C is in Charlie, E is an Echo, R is in Romeo, C, E. I mean, C and R. I'm sorry. What am I doing here? Charlie November <laughs> Echo. I mean, Romeo. You got it? Do you know about this? Conocen eso del Nato Alphabet? Yes. No? no? Okay. Eso se ocupa mucho en el teléfono, eh? Charlie November Romeo. Okay, so today we're going to move on with yesterday's topic. Today we're going to start with a practice. Okay, 
let me give you an example, okay? Um, let me see who, uh, Richard. Richard, have you ever cooked? Richard Martinez, he's frozen. Hi, teacher. Hey, there you go. Okay. <laughs> Richard, have you ever cooked? I hope you're getting this. Have you ever cooked? Cooked? Uh, cooked? Yes, teacher. Uh, yes. In, my house. In, in your house. Okay. Yes. What uh, have you cooked? Oh, okay. Good. Let's see. I hope I hope Richard said I've cooked listen, I've cooked chicken. Okay, I've cooked chicken. What else? Mm -hmm. Nestor, let me go with Nestor. Nestor. Hi teacher. Hi, good evening, nice Nestor. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How's it going, Nestor? What? How's it going? How's it going? Now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know, teacher. Sorry. There you have. It's the same. How are you? Oh. Yeah, it's the same. How are you? How's it going? Oh. It's okay, okay, okay. I am fine. And. It's a, I want a good day. I have, so you said I had a good day, right? I had, okay. Had a good day. Listen, I had a good day. I had a good day. I had a good day. Hey, Dad. Esto que acabo de hacer es el último recurso que debes de utilizar al intentar pronunciar bien una frase o una palabra nueva. Escribe abajo de la frase o de la palabra nueva la manera en la que te suena. Sí, ¿Ok? Yeah. Good teacher, thank you. I had a good day. ¿Oí? I had, I had a good day. 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 Easier. Another one. Let me give you another one. Something that you say a lot. Algo que decía mucho, eh? Okay. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. No. ¿Se acuerdan de Moisés, verdad? I don't... I don't know. 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 <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Easy. Very simple. See, I don't know. Sounds natural. Okay, Nestor, so... Good. You had a good day. What? What have you? What have you been up to? What have you been up to, Nestor? And I have work in my business. I have a bottle shop, and I like. I like. The spell. Did you say bookcase? What? Did you say bookcase shop? No. Bottle shop. A steak, pork. Oh, butlers. Okay. Yes. Your butlers shop. Okay. Like that? Yes. yes, teacher. Really? Okay. Lenin, are you listening? Hmm. Really? That's good. Hmm. Pork? <laughs> I like it. Yeah, it's delicious. Okay. It's delicious. Great. Not good to know. Okay, guys, so let's go. We're going to do a lot of work today. You have to talk, okay? You have to have a conversation. Start with a question always. Have you ever cooked? This is the main question, okay? Have you ever cooked? Then you go like, yes, I have cooked, okay? Yeah. What have you cooked? Uh, for example, and then you go with fast. Last week, I cooked a pizza. I cooked a pizza for my family. Okay. Was it good? You can go like, no. 
it wasn't good. <laughs> okay? <laughs> For example, hey, una cosa, si vas a hablar en inglés cuando estés practicando, es muy importante que, como decimos en salvadoreño, des paja. O sea, no te quedes con, con lo que en realidad hiciste en tu vida, porque qué aburrido, ¿no? Ser creativo. Ahorita quiero que te imagines que tenés mucho billete, así, pero mucho billete. Y si te dicen que ser cocinado, así como, así, se lo hecho menos. O sea, hago barbecues todas las fines de semana, ahí venís el fin de semana. Ah, no, no se puede, por el coronavirus. O sea, entonces trata de ampliarte en la conversación. Si no, no pasar de estar callado en el grupo, ¿sí? Entonces trata de, de usar tu creatividad. Eh, una última cosa antes de separarnos, somos 12, vamos a hacer tríos. Um, Voy a tomar una foto, ok? Espérense. Just one second. Picture. I need to see your faces, your names, ok? It's, this is for you, for your job, right? You know that. So, three, two, one, smile. Ok, there you go. That's it. <laughs> ok, nos voy a dividir ahorita, chicos, para que uh, podamos... Ok, let's practice. Just for five minutes. Remember, have you ever cooked? Okay. Or, okay, let's do it. Okay, please accept the invitation. Hello guys. Okay, sorry about that guys. Lo siento por el problema ahí. Um, al parecer tengo problemas con la electricidad acá en esta zona, supongo. Porque sí, sí se cayó todo. Pero continuaron conectados, ¿verdad? ¿eh? Yes, yeah, Good, good. Okay, so everybody's coming back. Okay, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one, and we're back. Okay, so we were practicing, we were practicing with one question only, okay? The first question, the opening question was, have you cooked? Have you ever cooked? So I was just wondering, I did you, all of you, let's see. Um, Lenin, <laughs> help me. Yeah. Have you ever cooked? Yeah, I do. I have. Yes, I. Uh, yes, I have. Okay. I let, like cook. I like to cook. I like to. I like to cook. Very good. I like to cook. I was about to give a feedback here. I estaba a punto de dar un feedback. Un, un poquito ahí estaba con Neida and uh, who was it? Pedro. Okay. Good. Uh, they were talking about cooking rabbit. Have you ever eaten? Have you ever eaten? And why not? See? Is it cooked? It's delicious. What? If you cook rabbit? Yeah. 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 Delicious. Oh. It's delicious. It's very delicious. I was, I was telling them that I tried. He knows. He knows. 
I did it once, but it was a friend. It was my pet, and I didn't know. Uh, you don't need your pet. <laughs> I didn't know it was my pet. So, but they said. So I recommended that you don't show me your pet, please, because I gonna eat. <laughs> Me lo cocinaron y yo no sabía que era mi conejo. Oh, my God. <laughs> I hate it. Okay, so, let's I know. That was cruel. That was cruel. Eso fue cruel, de verdad. Okay, so, I... Uh, one second. Neida and Pedro were saying, um, I love the rabbit. Yes. I love the rabbit. Uh, I like the chicken. I like chicken. So let's correct that. Vamos a corregir eso. The use of the article, the. Okay. Oh, what am I sharing? Hold on. Hello, hello. Okay, can you hear me? Yeah, okay. Good. So can you see the screen? Yeah? They were yeah. saying, I love the rabbit. I love the chicken do you like the beef okay can somebody tell me what's wrong here the rabbit the chicken the beef usamos rápido esta es una corrección super rápida el artículo the o the dependiendo eh, se ocupa cuando quiere ser bien específico for example i love the rabbit that you cook Last night. In your house. Okay. Muy específico. I love the rabbit that you cooked last night. Oh, en este caso, en pasado. Okay. So I loved the rabbit that you cooked last night in your house. Muy específico. Okay. Non-specific. Non-specific. Estás generalizando. Okay. I love rabbit. I love rabbit. Got it? I love the chicken that your mother cooks. Okay? I love the chicken that your mother cooks. Solo ese, el que hace tu mamá. But in general, I love chicken. Me encanta el pollo. Okay? I like, do you like beef? Do you like beef? Okay. Got it? Good. Okay. Now, talking about pronunciation. Pronunciation. Let's go with tomatoes. Tomatoes. Okay. Tomatoes. Like similar, right? Potato. Potato. Okay. Good. Easy. Now, let's go to your platform. And we're going to talk. Oh, well, before that. I promised you something, right? Les prometí algo. Dije que vamos a hablar de algo super rápido. Mm, can find it here. Just had it somewhere. Hold on. Yep. Okay. Okay. So, vamos a hacerlo de esta manera. Busqué la imagen. Let me share this with you really quick. Igual esta imagen se la voy a enviar ahorita, ¿ok? Ok, what's this? The pronunciation of ED endings. Los verbos regulares terminan en ED, right? So, hay tres pronunciaciones y voy a abarcar esto súper rápido porque está fuera del contexto de la clase, pero es necesario que corrijamos esto, que no lo dejemos pasar, ¿ok? Tres pronunciaciones básicas de los verbos regulares en pasado. De nuevo, todos los verbos regulares, eh, su pasado participio es el mismo que su pasado simple. Se les agrega ED y tienen tres sonidos. ¿Cómo yo identifico uh, cuál es un verbo al cual voy a pronunciar como T, como D o ID? Que son las tres pronunciaciones. Pues... La primera manera de hacerlo es poner mis manos en una forma de V y ponerlas en el cuello. ¿Ok? ¿Por qué? Porque así voy a identificar si hay 
o no vibración en mi aparato gutural. ¿Ok? Si hay vibración, ¿ok? Para empezar, vamos a hablar de lo, cuando no hay vibración. Ponete las manos, muy bien, Enrique. Pónganse las manos en el cuello. So, pon atención. Vamos a pronunciar el verbo en su forma base. ¿Ok? Y vamos a empezar con los del centro. Mira, help, help. Hace énfasis en el verbo base sin la ED. ¿Ok? La última, el último sonido del verbo. ¿Ok? Tenés help, look. ¿Ok? Look. No hay vibración. Sniff. Sniff. No hay vibración. Laugh. Esta GH en la que termina el verbo suena una F. Laugh. Wash. Wash. Watch. Kiss. Ahí está bien claro. Kiss. No hay vibración. Dance. Y fix. Al agregar el de, oye lo que pasa. Si aprendiste la pronunciación final, que ojo, los sonidos finales de cualquier palabra o verbo en inglés son importantísimos. So, decíamos help. Ahora decimos help. 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 Look. 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 Hay dos sonidos ahí. Look. Ok. Sniff. Sniff. Laughed, washed, watched, watched, kissed, danced, fixed. Ahora comparemos la segunda regla. Ok, la empujas la punta de la lengua en la parte trasera de tus dientes superiores. Oí, como vibra el celular. Ahora ponete las manos y sentí esto. Aquí viene, ¿ok? Los verbos que tienen sonido gutural en su, fin, en su sonido final, por ejemplo, <coughs> si hay vibración, como cold, una L termina la lengua enrollada, cold, clean, sentís aquí. Si lo estás haciendo bien, vas a sentir aquí la vibración en la nariz, clean, Offer, la lengua enrollada. Offer, damage, 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 damage. Como que vibrador. Más claro imposible. Todos los verbos que terminan en V-E, los regulares. La E es muda y digo love. Love. Ahorita exageren, que aunque tengan podrido los dientes, no le hace. Miren, love. Ok, sentís como pica, ¿verdad? ¿Verdad, Enrique? Esa vibración acá. Ok, use, use, amaze, amaze. La siguiente cuesta, rub, rub. Y por último, climb. Aquí se siente, climb. Hay vibración. Entonces, me pregunto, ok, verbo regular, Estoy hablando en pasado, participio, pasado. Ok, la pronunciación correcta. A ver, me vibra la garganta. Ah, pues sí. Entonces termina en the cold, cleaned, offered, damaged, loved, used, amazed, rubbed, oye, rubbed, climbed. Climbed. Ok, ahí estamos. Y la última, eso lo pueden ver otra vez en el video cuando se suba, ok. La última regla dice que si el verbo ya de por sí, su forma base, termina en el sonido t o el sonido d, ok, agrego la ed o la d, como en este caso, y ya suena estrictamente a id. Hay dos reglas aquí. Si el verbo, pon atención a la pantalla, termina en consonante, consonante, y vas a agregar ed, va a sonar estrictamente a id. Oye, wanted, wanted, ok, needed. Aquí no, aquí es vocal consonante, ojo, eh. Si es vocal consonante, agregas la ed y suena a red, r-e-d, needed, needed. 
like I needed to tell you, I needed to tell you, I wanted, I wanted to tell you, I wanted to tell you, ¿y cómo se? A ver, bien. Ok, revisen eso que les acabo de decir, vuelvan al video cuando les envíe el link y revisen esto, es muy importante la pronunciación de los sonidos finales en inglés, si no, ok, un verbo que les causa problema al principio, si ustedes le dicen a un gringo, un gringo te dice, hey, what are you doing? And you go, I'm running. I'm running. El gringo te va a decir, what? Really? You're running? Okay. No, I'm running. Porque running es podrirse, señoras. De que dejan de decir, I'm running. Okay. Es un chiste, okay. So let's continue. Okay. Be careful. Pronunciation. Pronunciation. It's very important. Okay. So, let's continue with your platform, okay? Good. Yesterday, we, we saw this video. I hope you watched it again. You watched it again and review it. Then you had a knowledge check, which I'm sure you did it already. It was very simple. So, give me, give me the answers. I need a volunteer. Volunteer or victim, you tell me. Okay, Kelvin, give me a number. Give me a number between one and three. No, between one and five. A number between one and five, Kelvin. No se ve, teacher. No se ve. No se ve. Who, what? Oh, la pantalla. No, it's okay. Give me a number. Give me a number between one and five. Uh, one, three. 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 Okay. Yeah. From Kelvin, one, Enrique, two, Delia, three, Nestor. Okay, thank you. Nestor. Okay, did you did you perform the test? Is this the yes. exam? Yes? Okay, what's the first? I don't remember. <laughs> you don't remember? Okay, and so. I, I need to. You need to practice it or what? Hey, let me no preview it, but first file is owners. Good to know. So listen to the conversation again. Hey, this sounds strange. Snails with garlic? Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. I had them here just last week. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? No, I don't think so. Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes, I'll have a snail order. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll have a small order of snails, please. And you, sir? I think I'll have the fried brains. Fried brains. Fried brains? I've never heard of that. I've never heard of that. It sounds crazy. Okay. So, question number one, there, sir. Has Kathy ever eaten snails? Has Kathy ever eaten snails? Yes, she has. She ate snail last week. Okay, so yes, she has. She ate snails last week. I think that would be better. Okay, yes, she has. She ate snails last week. Okay. What did Steve order? Richard. Steve or the, fr the fried brains. You, you, right? You. Okay, Steve ordered, listen, ordered the fried brains. Okay, good. Fried brains. Okay, let's go with Nada. Okay, true or false? The simple past 
is a tense that involves events that happened in the past and have been completed. Is this true or false? Wait, sorry. <laughs> Naida, what's the answer? True or false? The simple past is a tense that involves events that happened in the past and have been completed. Simple past. Huh? Sure. <laughs> okay, so the simple past is a tense that involves events that happened in the past and have been completed. That's simple past. Done. Over. True or false? I think it's true. Yes, it is true. Simple past. Simple past. That's it. Very good. Great job. Let's see. Thank you. You're welcome, Amilcar. What is a correct response for uh, to the question? Have you ever eaten Mexican food, Richard? I'm sorry, no, uh, Amilcar, Amilcar. Okay. Uh, yes, I have. I went to a Mexican restaurant last week. Last weekend. Okay. Have you ever eaten Mexican food? Yes, I have. I have. I like it. Very good. Great job. Okay, next. Who's next? I have underneath a milk car. Delia. Okay, what is a correct response to the question? Did you drink coffee this morning? Yes, I did. I have some on my way to work. Okay, on my way to work. Okay, repeat. Mm -hmm. On my way to work. On my way to work. Way to work. Way to work. Way to way to way to work. Thank you. Yeah, cuando hay una T entre dos vocales, chicos, suena a L. Way to way to way to way to work. Okay, on my way to work. Very good. Simple. Okay. So, we're going to start today with this a little bit. Esto es muy sencillo. Para mañana necesito que preparen uh, una receta, a recipe, okay? Of your own. Prepare a recipe. Chat. Go to the chat, to the WhatsApp group, and start agreeing, okay? I need you to make couples. Or, yeah, couples. Make couples for tomorrow. I need one recipe, one recipe for each. Okay, got it? Okay, no, so tomorrow we're going to have a recipe from you. Si me están entendiendo, no, lost, no? Yes, it Okay. I what? have a question. Yes. Uh, you are gonna give us the the couple or no? You have to agree on the okay. on the WhatsApp group. Go to the WhatsApp group after the class or tomorrow. No, after the class, and go with Kelvin. Uh, can you? You want to be a couple? You know, let's couple up. Let's couple up. Listen, couple up. Let's couple. Let's make a recipe for tomorrow. Why? Because look at this. Sequency adverbs or sequence adverbs are used to help describe progression of events. Often used in recipes, listen, recipes or instructions, sequency or sequence adverbs such as first, then, next, after that, and finally about the order of actions and create natural transitions in writing. So, in this lesson, we will practice describing recipes in English using frequency or sequence. Okay? This lesson includes an English oral comprehension exercise. So, what is that? What are these? Remember the connectors? These are just connectors. Look, first, mix it. 
Okay, look at that. First, mix the peanut butter and mash banana butter. Then, okay, lightly toast the slices of bread. Next, spread the peanut butter. After that, close the sandwich. Finally, fry the bread. So, for tomorrow, prepare a recipe in couples so we can use it in the class, okay? Does that sound like a plan? Suena como plan? Okay. Bien, digo, ¿me entendieron la actividad para mañana? Yes. Yes. Con el otro teacher no hacíamos tareas. Hey, come on. <laughs> okay. Um, Tempo. <laughs> what? Kelvin? Hicimos una así. Oh, really? Sí, la hicimos. Yeah. Okay. In couples? No. Yeah. One by one. One by one. Now, ah, make it in couples. Teamwork. Teamwork. Okay, so get ready for tomorrow so you can let us know what is your uh, recipe, okay? Step by step, what you have to do first, okay? It will be fun. It will be fun. Questions? No questions? Okay, sorry about the issue with the internet today. I'll see you tomorrow at eight o'clock, okay? Okay. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.